Hey, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint, back at you with another recent reads. We're going to look at Donnie Cates' Doctor Strange Run. This is the oversized hardcover. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I was trying to remember why I wanted to read this, and I remember now when we were with Donnie Cates at El Paso Comic Con, uh, we were moderating his panel, and he mentioned his Damnation Run here, and that's what had it in my mind that I wanted to read the Donny Cates Doctor Strange. Now, admittingly, when I was reading this first issue, I was like, oh no, I'm not feeling it. Like, I wasn't really digging it. Uh, you're kind of dropped into this world where you don't know what happened prior. Like, if you didn't read Jason Aaron's prior run, like me, you're really lost and you got to kind of pick up the pieces. But bottom line is, it starts off where Doctor Strange is no longer the Sorcerer Supreme. Loki of Asgard is the Sorcerer Supreme and... Stephen Strange was stripped of his medical license because he hasn't been practicing, and he's a veterinarian. <laughs> and later on, we find out he's not even licensed for that. <laughs> so it's kind of cool um, uh, the relationship that Stephen Strange has, like with this dog that can talk. Which again, we don't really have any context, but becomes super important later. Uh, and as I start reading it more, I start getting into the whole thing with Loki and how um, there was a tournament that Doctor Strange always wins, but he lost this time, and the powers that be deemed Loki uh, to be the Sorcerer Supreme. But there's like a little twist in that towards the end of the run. Uh, and then it gets into Damnation. What happens here is that, again, it happens off, no, off screen, not, on, not in this book, where Las Vegas is destroyed, and uh, Doctor Strange fixes everything so i was thinking about gabe infinity watch when i was watching when i was reading this because he probably read this too and he lives in vegas so vegas is completely destroyed he brings it back together and you know he brings everyone back who died he fixes all the buildings and a big theme in this run is that um you know there's always a price to pay for magic every time you use magic there's a price you got to pay on the back end and uh, he ends up paying that price because like x-men inferno style a huge hotel from hell called Hotel Inferno, uh, lifts up, and Mephisto uh, is basically hell on earth, and that's kind of the Damnation run. The Damnation storyline is kind of cool because it gives us like this new team of soulless or new team of sinners that Wong has to recruit because Doctor Strange is captured. So it's like Blade, Ghost Rider, um, what's the monster hunter's name? Yeah, you got Iron Fist, Blade, Scarlet Spider's there, but he doesn't really do a damn thing. I don't even know why he's there. Oh, yeah, Brother Voodoo's there, Elsa Bloodstone, Moon Knight. He doesn't do anything. And actually, it's Dr. Voodoo. He didn't go to 10 years of medical school to be called Brother. Uh, and you got Man-Thing, too, which... Uh, yo, seeing Man-Thing in this comic made me like, want to read his Bronze Age omnibus, even though I know that's going to be a, a hell of a read to get through. Anyway, the Damnation storyline, you know what it reminded me of? When I first got back into the comic scene, it was uh, Rick Remender doing the Venom run, and they had that like uh, that little event with the, with the star. I forget what it was called. It was like a new Fantastic Four with Agent Venom, Red Hulk, probably Ghost Rider, and Punisher maybe. I don't remember. Uh, so that's what you basically get here. You kind of get this pre-Damnation uh, stuff with... Loki as the Sorcerer sorcerer Supreme, you get the Damnation, and then you get the little bit of Aftermath. Uh, but overall, uh, towards the end, I was like, damn, I do like this run. I, I think the writing was really good. The art, you know, wasn't really my favorite art, but um, the writing held it. We'll flip through right now. We'll take a look at some of the things, uh, some of the pages in here. Uh, you get some Sentry stuff, which I'm always like interested in Sentry, but I never really read anything of him. And the void and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of what you see on the back. Doctor Strange getting possessed by the void. Uh, you have Dormammu, who does show up in the aftermath, but I don't remember Malekith being really involved. Anyway, it does collect Doctor Strange 381 through 390, and then the Damnation 1 through 4. Uh, let's take a look at the insides, and we'll go from there. Alright, I know I showed this off in the hall, but. Again, we'll look at the front of the dust jacket here. Here's the spine and the back. Had a $35 cover price, but you know, we don't pay cover price around here. 
Here's the inside that talks about Donny Cates. It talks about the artist, Gabriel Hernandez Walta, uh, Nico Henrichon, and Fraser Irving. One seven seven eight Bleecker Street is under new management. No, we know that's where the Sanctum Centaurum resides. And uh, I guess spoiler alert: the dog is a ghost. Got a very cool wrapped around cover here. Again, I don't know why Moon Knight or Scarlet Spider were even there. I know Scarlet Spider is there because he lives in Vegas, so maybe they just tied him in because his new run probably takes place in Vegas, and maybe. Maybe where the destruction happened was in his run. I don't even know. So here's like an idea of what some of the artwork looks like. Here's Loki. You can really hear Donny Cates in his writing too. He likes to like throw F-bombs around even though they blurp it out. But Dr. Strange's like, give me back my fucking cape. Like, sounds like Donny. You do have Thor show up. Oh yeah, she's actually a big part of Damnation too, man. Here's the dog. What's his name? Um, Bass. That's right. Oh, he's a basset hound. That's why. So this is su supposedly showing the powers that be giving the power of the um, Sorcerer Supreme to Loki instead of renewing Doctor Strange. He recruits Sentry. Goes to Asgard, but Odin's not there. Odin's been dethroned by his brother, Cole Borson. Basically, there's this door that Loki can't get into that's driving him insane in the Sanctum Centaurum. And uh, he forces Doctor Strange to open it. And it's the Void, which apparently is where all the, all the good that Sentry does is equal bad counterpart uh, forms as this Void creature, if I, if I read that right. <clears throat> Doctor Strange has this living apprentice. What's her name? Like Zelda or something? Something like that. She plays a part. <clears throat> He's Damnation number one. Vegas brought back to being whole. The Mephisto stuff is cool. I don't know why Captain Marvel was in here either. Her, Black Panther, they didn't do shit. The artwork is alright, though. I mean, it's just not really my style, my taste, but it wasn't bad. Ghost Rider has a cool part to play. <clears throat> then we get that Shuma, Gorith. I only really know of them from Marvel vs. Capcom. Little Mephisto on Throne action. Alright, but you get the idea. All right, guys, so that's a quick little review on the Donny Cates Doctor Strange oversized hardcover. They actually name drop uh, the Oath in here, and uh, I have that oversized hardcover, which is only like five issues. So I'm actually going to knock that out really quick, too. I knocked this out in one sitting, and um, yeah, so it couldn't have been that bad, right? I, you know, I was able to knock it out. Let me know what you think about this Doctor Strange run. What am I missing out on not reading the Jason Aaron run? Because we love Jason Aaron, too, man. And I don't know uh, how his work is collected and, and what kind of format it might be in. Probably oversized hardcover. Drop me a like on the way out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content, which includes comic book reviews and a lot of other material. And keep it minty fresh. Peace.